So in the book, we summarise an emerging area for schools, and this is what we call preparing to learn. It's all the activities schools do to basically improve children more generally. So for example, providing free school breakfasts, or for helping in terms of glasses for classes, so that children who are diagnosed with poor eyesight actually do get glasses. What we found was many children from poorer backgrounds are diagnosed with special educational needs because they're not wearing glasses. And what we find in the evidence is that schools are doing increasing amounts in terms of the general social welfare of their children. The results are actually very good. So for example, providing free school breakfast in primary school can lead to about three months extra gains for those children. I think some of the challenges for schools are is to focus on the things that work, the programmes that have evidence behind them, and we list them in the book. I think the other thing you need to watch out for is if you do too much of these extra activities, then it does actually affect the classroom teaching, that you need to find the right balance between how much you spend in terms of improving teaching, which of course we talk a lot about in the book, and actually how, you, how much time you spend on, on general welfare for your pupils.